forming the muscles of the midsection known as the abdominals. These muscles consist of the rectus abdominis, the internal and external obliques, and the transversus abdominis. Strong abdominals aid us in maintaining proper posture as well as preventing injuries of our lower back. Please note that breathing is important during any exercise and with abdominal work we exhale on the exertion while pulling in the muscles and we inhale as we relax with the muscles out. Don't forget, wear a good aerobic shoe for balance and support and you'll also need a carpet or a mat for cushioning on the floor routine. I'm Marion, and with me are Joyce and Maya, and we welcome you to the Super Stomach Workout. We're going to start in second position, warming up the midsection, tall torso, abdominals in, arms up, climb a rope, reach, reach, stretch into your side, up, up, the arms change to the front, and press, press, gently reaching out. Now take the arms to the side and over, over. Back to the front and reach, stretch. Warm it up gently. Over the head again and stretch, stretch. Back to our front and push, pull, push, pull. Push, pull, and change arms to the side. Last eight. Extend the arms out and reach, 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 elongating through the waist. Keep going and press. Two, three, four, five, six. Drop center. Big arms down. Up. Shoulders. One, two, stretch. One, two, stretch. One, two, stretch. Good. Now double arms. Up. Four more times. abdominal work let's go down on the floor grab your mat or towel bending the knees slide the torso down bend one knee to the floor and safely bring your body down down on your backs okay we want to remember on the abdominal work that the abdominals are pulled in at all times you want to press the lower back into the floor give yourself a little bit of a pelvic tilt at the same time we breathe out on the way up pulling in those abdominals and, and inhale on the way down, relaxing, okay? Let's go ahead and bring our knees in. We cross at the ankles, working on three levels on this one. Starting down, halfway up, and then extending all the way up. 
making sure in the full extended position that the abdominals are in and the legs are tilted back. We don't want to fall out in front and put pressure on the lower back. Keep it over your center of gravity. Ankles crossed, holding behind the head, right shoulder to the floor. Bring it up and down and cross and down. Make sure you're working opposite elbow and that the other one presses for stability on the floor. Keep the chest nice and wide. Exhale on the way up. Let's bring the legs higher and lift, down, lift and down. Keep a nice comfortable distance between your chin and your chest. You want to avoid gripping down like so. Keep the chin up. Don't fall too far back at the same time though. And higher, lift up. Remember about keeping those thighs tucked in over your abdominals. Good. One more. Now we pull knees into the ears. Pull up, back, up, back. Don't forget to breathe. Keep that oxygen flowing. One more time. Holding it up, elbows out, press, down, press, down. Don't worry about getting much height on these. It's not important. Your form is what's important. And lowering the knees, pull up and down. Take care not to over grip on the head. The hands are just behind there to guide and gently support the head and neck. One more, back to the original position, press up. Feel those abdominals working. One more, good. And up again, press, press, press.
three and four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down. This is the last set. Up, 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 last four, last three, last two, dropping the feet to second position. Press up, press up, press up. Take it over, right side, ready and in. Left, in and right. Remember about the opposite shoulder, pressing towards the floor. That gives the upper body the support that it needs, protecting the neck and the spine. Good. Eight over to the right. Press. Open. Press. Open. Breathe. Breathe. One more. Left side, we change. And up. One more. Let's do double center. Both knees. Pull up. Down. Up. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. One more time. Hold it down. Flat elbows. Lift. 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 Now change count to three. Up, 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 and down. Up, 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 and down. Notice we're going higher, 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 and roll down. Lift, 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 and down. Lift, 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 and down. Use the vertebra to roll down. We don't want to collapse. Check on your form. Make sure that you're not over gripping. Lift, 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 and down. Lift, 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 and down. Think about what you're doing. Concentrate, pressing the lower back into the floor. Pretend like you want to try and make the folds of your uh, material on your leotard wrinkle. Press them, press them, press them, and release. Good. Up, up. Up, one more time. Up, 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 right side knee. Up and left. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Feel that change when we start crossing that torso over again. Those are the obliques taking over. Let's stay over right side for eight. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven. One more time, and eight, change side. One, and down, two, and down, three, and down, four, and down. Two more. Get ready, double center, take it up. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down. We're going to continue with the same move, but I need you to close the legs towards the center and grab on from the crown of the head. Crunch, tap toes, crunch, tap toes. Heels are up, toes tap the floor. Again, watch the distance between your chin and your chest. You don't want to be gripping down and bending at the neck. Get ready, keep the legs down, upper body, lift, 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 lift. One more time. And now the knees come to the arms. In, 
down. Notice I'm tapping my toes, not coming completely flattened on the floor. One more time, and begin. Take them both. In. Like a little clamshell, closing and opening. Use the abdominals. One more. Upper body only again. Hold your point. Heels are up. One more. And now the lower body by itself. Pull in, down, in, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven. One more time. Now both of them together. Last step. Hang in there. We're really isolating these abdominals. Let's hold it up now. Hold. And slowly release it down. I think we need to take a little bit of a break there. Let's roll our knees over to one side of us, to the right, and the arms go to the left. Stretching out the lower back and releasing and relaxing the abdominals. Breathe through your stretch. And cross it over. Stretch. Okay, let's come back. We got a little bit more work to finish off with here. Okay, feet flat on the floor. What we're going to do here now is we're going to extend our right arm out to the side on the floor. Left hand supports behind the neck. We're going to take the elbow in towards the opposite knee and extend the leg out at a 45 degree angle. Remember that this arm is here. Use it for stability and support. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In and out. Notice I'm pointing and flexing. Full extension through the leg. Once again, we're watching the positioning of the neck. It's supported. The shoulder is down. We keep our chin a comfortable distance from our chest. One more time. Now extend straight leg. Take it up at 45 degree angle. Don't drop all the way down. Are we remembering to breathe? Yes. Don't forget, it's important. Keep that oxygen flowing. Last time, hold the leg at 45. Now up and down. Up and down. Lift. 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 Down, lift, down, lift, and hold it up. Press. And relax it down. Good. We're going to take that same leg that was extended out. We cross it over, ankle onto the knee. Okay. From this position, we keep the arm extended out, but we're going to lift the torso up, turn it and cross it over to the knee, open back up, and roll down. Count to four. Ready, and take it up, over, out, and down. Up, over, out, and down. Press, cross, open, and down. Press 
up and down. Changing the arm, grab behind the thigh, lift up. Help the torso, use your upper body strength. Out, arm again. Up. Up, use the shoulder, press it down for stability. Okay, cross over again, lift, cross, out, and down, lift, cross, out, and down, three, cross, out, and down. Two more times. And this is the last one. Good, and relax. Get ready to change sides. Opposite arm extends out, uncross the leg. Right elbow comes behind the head for support. We're going to go ahead and bring that right left knee in towards our chest, pointing the toe, flexing 40 to 5. And ready, and breathe in. Out. Try another set, eight more. Get ready, straight leg, ready, bring it up and out, up and out, cross and lift. more times. Bring it up. Four more. One more. Hold it. 45 degree. And press up. Press up. time, holding it up, and relax it down, good, okay, get ready to cross that leg, right on over, gonna go right into our lifts, and cross over, ready, with the arm, lift, cross, out, and down, lift, cross, out, and down, lift, cross, out, and down, Lift, cross, out, and down. Four more. And the last one. Up, over, out, hold center. Hold it down, center, take it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Grab the thigh, pull up, help your torso get higher. Watch your form, press the lower back. Arm out again, extend. Four more. One more time, go back to crossing over. Take it up, cross, out, and down. Two, cross, 
out and down. Lift, cross, out and down. One more time. Lift, cross, out, and relax it down. Good. Now we're going to relax those muscles we've just worked. Let's roll the knees over to the right side of us and our arms over to the left. Relax, breathe deeply, and melt into the floor. Feel the stretch through the lower back and abdominals. Cross and change sides. Stretch and breathe. Good, let's roll up to the center, grab behind our thighs, roll our body forward, and let's come onto our knees to stretch the lower back. We're gonna take a nice deep breath, make sure the back is flat, inhaling, and exhale as we round the back, tuck the tailbone underneath. And release, inhaling again, and exhale, round the back. Good. Let's press through, back into the hip, stretching the arms out in front, reaching through the fingertips. Stretch through the upper body as well. And we're gonna slide forward, stay down on our elbows, gentle stretch for our lower back, slide down and gently curve the lower back. Let's slide it back again. Once more through the hip, stretching the fingertips out in front. And roll up. We're going to take a nice deep breath, arms up over the head. And exhale and relax and bring it down. And inhale up over the head. Let's round the upper body forward, curving, collapse through the rib cage and stretch back, bring it up, and we'll relax it down. Good, one more time, let's slide forward into our cobra stretch, elbows down, feel the stretch of the lower back and those abdominals. Relax now, let's come back to the center. Onto all fours, flat back, one more time, inhale, and exhale, round the back. Inhale. And exhale, round the back. Sit back onto our heels, relax, and have a great day. Good job.